I wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be alright. Promise we don't need no brake lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next. Hey friends, and welcome back to Cleaning Therapy. My name is Jenny, if you're new here, and today we're gonna to be tackling this dining room. So as you can see, I've got most everything cleared off, ready for deep cleaning. I do have a lot of things here on the table, just from the whole process of doing that, and also just other random things that end up on this table. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those put away. We'll get some deep cleaning done. We'll get some spring touches out. And I really hope you're ready for this. I hope you've got some cleaning to do where we can do this together, or you can just watch this and gather some inspiration. And I am getting over a cold, so I do apologize for my voice being a little off, but I think it's gonna be okay. So here I'm just gonna start by putting away all of these things. It's just kids' toys, games, my cricket, all kinds of things. So we'll get this table cleared off and we will get to cleaning. Now that the room is clear, I'll go ahead and take my duster extender pole and just run it along where the ceiling meets the wall and anything else that I think might be out of reach. And this is just such a good and easy way to get some dusting done without having to pull out the ladder. And I'm so excited, you guys. Stay tuned because I have a new rug that I'm so excited to show you and I'll put it under my dining room table and I really just think it makes the room. It's also gonna help out a lot with the acoustics in this room until we get our fireplace furniture. Again, I'm going off of my cleaning therapy checklist. You can get a checklist on my website, cleanyourwaytocalm.com and if you'd like one, they are a free printable. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us before we got lost and we parted back to back we would carry on then now i'm taking a magic eraser and just going over all of the marks that i see on my walls so i'm gonna go ahead and tackle those and then for my deep cleaning today i'm really just using a hot soapy rag and some dawn dish liquid um, along with that and I really just find that that's my favorite way to deep clean because I don't want to add more polish at this time I polish my furniture pretty regularly and this is my chance to kind of strip some of that off and really clean the furniture and let it breathe until I polish it again and here I'm just adding a couple of spring touches to these little shelves and I'll do the same thing on the other side Sometimes when I'm reasoning about us, I know you got me it's so Back we would carry on and we do anything for what we started. But this time we could break our run and dry. Everything's the same. We'll try to know this time we're not safe and sound. Not safe and sound. What if I'm no good for you? What if you now I'm going to dry dust these blinds and then I'll go in with my same washcloth just to get them wet cleaned. Let me know in the comments what you're working on this week. How are you doing with your spring cleaning? Are you doing any decluttering? 
what are you guys up to? Um, I love when you tag me on Instagram. It's one of my favorite things. Thank you so much, Roxanne, for tagging me this week. My account is Jenny Teal, so come find me over there and tag me with any of your project photos or decor photos, cleaning, whatever, or just come say hi. I'd love to get to know you over there. Thank you guys so much for your support over here on my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. And when you come back and watch and leave comments for me, you truly just make my week. It really is a joy to be a part of this channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Jenny and I have three kids. I live over here in Southern Louisiana. And my cleaning journey started more as a mental health journey. I was using cleaning to start managing anxiety and depression. And I found that I could kind of clean my way to calm. So it was just kind of an interesting thing that it became part of mental health management for me. So now cleaning is more than just cleaning for me. It's almost like self-care and it's something I do for myself and my family that we get to live in a cleaner house in a more decluttered house. And it's totally not perfect. I am on a journey just like you. There are parts of my house that I would be so embarrassed right now to show you, but that's all part of the journey. It's never about perfection. It's always just about continuing to make progress. And there really is joy in the journey. So I just want to inspire you encourage you if you're in a slump with your cleaning or any of your routines just take it you know one day at a time and just do something today that you'll be thankful for tomorrow and I'm really glad that you're here I'm anything but you because all I want is to get some shut eye but the thought of you is keeping me awake I don't know what it is Now that the fireplace is all cleaned off, I'm gonna go ahead and add my spring touches. I have a wreath from last year. These candlesticks are from Hobby Lobby. And those nail holes are actually for our stockings. And I really need to patch those and paint this, um, but I didn't get to that on this day. This is an old hymnal that I have from back when I was in the Air Force, I was cleaning out my room and I found it under my dorm bed. And then this cute little bird's nest with the cloche and the little tin plant I got in an antique store when Tony and I went to Fairhope recently. I found so many things on that trip. That was just a really fun antique mall to go through. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy walking through places like that and just looking at everything. And then here on the hearth, I just thought I'd keep it simple and do a basket with a little cozy blanket in there and a little stool. But it's been like this ever since we kissed. I don't know what to do. Moving on in the room, I have this mirror that, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this mirror yet or not. Um, it's Reclaim Barnwood. It's from Hobby Lobby. It was on sale the one week, so it was a really good deal. And I just thought it looked really nice and pulled from some of the wood tones by the fireplace. Here behind my little server, um, it's really not too bad this time. All I found was Incredible Hulk 
and some dust. So I thought it was pretty good. Um, I think my cleaning routines are finally starting to click in a little bit or kick in a little bit, I guess, um, because I used to wait way too long to do these kinds of things. And I still do sometimes, but in this case, I must have been a little more disciplined than I thought. So I was really glad not to have such a huge mess as I usually do. Ready to go. Very simple again here with the decor, just a white pitcher with some florals from Target, a couple of my grandfather's vintage books, and a candle that I had picked up from last year. So the only new thing right here are the stems, and I thought they looked really nice, and I kind of thought they added a nice little pop of green. So now across the room, this is my sideboard, and all we found was Play-Doh and some more dust. So I really do think I must have pulled this out and cleaned it for some other reason and just forgot that I did it because normally these are so much worse. Um, and I was really surprised that they weren't as dirty as they usually are. I wish I could say the same thing for my dining table. That one was way worse. So stay tuned to see all that was under my dining room table. So here on the sideboard, again, just kind of shopping my home. I really didn't buy hardly any decor this year. I just shopped my home and used what I had. This basket, a couple of cookbooks, and a candle on top, these candlesticks, and this little plant. The plant is new, and that is from Target. The candlesticks are from Hobby Lobby from another year, and the basket is also from Hobby Lobby from, I think, last year. So I was happy with the way this turned out. I really just wanted to keep it simple, something that was easy to pick up and clean, which is always a priority for me. Now I'm just taking off these pillow covers and putting them in the wash along with this throw. And then I plan on doing a little bit more cleaning today and then I will start again the next day. This ended up being a two day cleaning project.
gonna go ahead and clean these shades also with my lint roller just like I did the lamp shades they're really thin and they were supposed to be temporary shades until we got better ones but we plan on replacing these back doors so we just never invested in the window treatments because we know that we're gonna get new doors so these have just stayed here for a couple of years and you know I do the best I can with them but I'm not really concerned about them because I know that this will all be replaced sometime this year Okay, so it's now the next morning and I'll get these covers back on the pillows and then I'll go ahead and get my dining table started. I wanna get the chairs cleaned off and then we need to move it because there is a ton of stuff under that dining table that I need to attend to. I'm gonna go ahead and take Alex's booster seat off. And I went to go take out my Bissell to use the upholstery attachment so that I could clean off these chairs. And I was actually out of solution. So I couldn't believe it. I really thought I had a backup solution in my garage, but it turns out I don't. So I had to put that on hold, but I was able to at least clean off the wood part of the chairs and get the booster seat cleaned off really well. I actually left it off because he is big enough to sit at the table without the booster now. He is so tall for his age and it's so funny because he doesn't wanna get in the booster and so he'll go sit in a different seat just so he doesn't have to use the booster. So I just decided to leave it off. Now here is what it looks like under my dining room table. So there's a lot of dried Play-Doh. Alex has been doing lots of Play-Doh projects. I think that's a French fry and that's some kind of cellophane um, and I don't know what else, but this is just a lot of probably dinner crumbs and just dust, <laughs> I don't even know. So I'm gonna get the top of it cleaned and then I'll dust off the pedestals underneath before I move it.
So you guys have seen me sweep up a lot of dust piles on my channel. You're very well acquainted with my dust piles, but I really think that this one is the most colorful one I've probably ever swept up. So here I'm just gonna get it into my dustpan and then I'll go ahead and mop these floors. So I was definitely having technical difficulties on this day because normally I would have used my O Cedar Spin Mop to mop my floors, but I had to use my Light and Easy Steam Mop because I went to go get the O Cedar Spin Mop and the little, I guess the disc, you know, the part that's like the mop head, the part that connects to the mop head. Um, that little triangular shaped disc that was missing. And I know my daughter had been using the pole as practice for her ROTC, just kind of like pretending it was a rifle. And I know I took it off and I think I put it up in the closet, but I could never find it. So I actually had to order a replacement part and it already came to the house, but I just didn't have it for this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and steam mop these floors, but honestly, I really think that's probably what I should have done anyway, because you know, since I'm doing a deep clean, I really like how the steam can really deep clean and sanitize the floors. A big thank you to Boutique Rugs for sponsoring this part of today's video. This is the Parker Field rug in an 8x10 and I was so grateful when they sent this to me to put under my dining room table. I absolutely love it. You guys, I just wanted to show you a closer look. I just think it is so pretty. It has all the colors in my dining room and I just think it's neutral but it also has a little bit of contrast and I just think this totally makes the room. It's helping with the acoustics and I really just think it's perfect for this space. Boutique rugs are beautiful and affordable and if you use my code CLEAN, you'll get an extra 5% off of the 60% off discount that they are currently promoting. So you definitely wanna to go to their website. I'll have everything linked in my description box. And thank you again to Boutique Rugs for sponsoring this part of the video. Until you saved me, until you set me free My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say that you can take me high Feels like I can fly So here's what my mob pad looked like at the end and here is my checklist with everything checked off and I'm happy to say that the dining room is now clean and calm. So I'm going to go ahead and light my candles and get all cozy in here and enjoy this space. I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I really hope that you liked it, that it was relaxing to watch, but also motivating to get something done in your house. And let me know in the comments how you're doing. Don't forget to say hi. I love you guys so much. Make sure you're subscribed and that you have bell notifications set to all so that you don't miss any videos. I will be posting on Mondays each week and then I may or may not do bonus videos. So each week I might do a second video or I might not and I'll let you know on community tabs so that you guys know to look for a second video. But definitely join me every Monday here in Cleaning Therapy and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Until then, bye friends. Feels like I can fly. Take me high.
feels like I can fly. 